whether you live in one of those new units or not that is being built right now, you're benefiting from it. We feel confident about demographic projections that we'll have another 60,000 people net gain in Boston over the next 10 to 15 years. Cultural violence. Using aspects of culture to justify direct violence and maintain structural violence. According to Johann Galto, cultural violence makes both direct and structural violence feel right. Gentrification, or the act of repairing homes in what the city considers deteriorating areas, claims to economically raise up neighborhoods and make them safer. In reality, gentrification is pushing people out of their homes and raising rents in their neighborhoods, both forms of direct violence. Because people can no longer live in their homes, they are forced to move somewhere else or to the streets. This raises issues of housing inequality and maintains the gap between the rich and the poor. Gentrification maintains that gap, which is a form of structural violence. Beneath the surface of making these neighborhoods better for the people that live there, it is really just adjusting to the taste of the upper class. This isn't just where we live. This is where we grow and thrive. It is not just land for sale. It is home. <laughs>